Hello, I'm Brad from AES Seal. In the next few minutes we're going to look at a critical stage of the production of dry gas seals, the assembly of stationary parts of a dry gas seal. As always, please remember to click the subscribe button to see new AES Seal content as soon as it's released. Stationary parts of a dry gas seal are retained within the compressor seal cavity during operation. Their primary function is to house the stationary sealing rings. The stationary components of a dry gas seal are retainer housing, springs, carrier or thrust disc, dynamic sealing element, stationary seal face, secondary sealing elements. The most important component of a stator assembly is a stationary seal face. This interfaces directly with the rotating ring on the rotor and due to the very small running gap between the components, which we covered in a previous video, it is critical that the stationary face be extremely flat. This is achieved using high specification lapping and polishing machines to ensure the rings reach their required flatness and surface finish. They are then examined using a special light plate that displays flatness in the form of light bands. The secondary sealing elements are added to the exterior retainers and the stationary seal faces are assembled into the retainer with the carrier or thrust disc and secondary sealing element which can be either an o-ring or a polymer. The assembler is tested to ensure that the spring force is sufficient to allow the seal to operate as desired. Once this testing is complete, the stators are now ready to be assembled with the rotating components to create a full dry gas seal cartridge. We will cover this process in our next video. Thanks for viewing this video. Please click the subscribe button below to be the first to see AES seal content in the next step in the dry gas seal journey. You can check out our website at aesseal.com to find out more about AES Seal's products and services.